Funding for Greater Chattanooga is provided by EPB Fiber Optics and Unum. The Chattanooga Public Library is definitely on the forefront of being a leader in the 21st century of libraries. What is a library? When I see a library, I see, see these rows of books. Yeah, this library is pretty different than most. You go there to write essays and gather information. It's not just the place for books. Like, I kind of consider it that, uh, like, books will be the foundation, um, so they'll always be there, but we have to fill it up with new things. Honestly, any floor, you don't have to be that quiet. Everyone's pretty loud. You know, libraries are one of the oldest institutions, and clearly libraries have evolved. Uh, if you think about it, like it used to just be books, and then all of a sudden, wow, we got computers. Um, and then the internet came. After looking around town and seeing what was available to the public and, and talking with people and seeing like what, what, what's a need in town and what, what can the library do to meet that need, we decided let's just make a full-on professional audio recording studio. Well, let's get into talking about the, the, you know, the community of Chattanooga. Because, like, this we chose the, the library, the public library, to record our podcast because we have actually a very similar vision. The, the library is a place where you can come and you can actually see your community. So, you know, like I said, I want the, to use the, the podcast in order to connect people in Chattanooga to what's happening. And the Chattanooga Public Library is using their space to do okay. just that. And so, yeah, you have to put your ideas out there. You have to be testing them. Um, and um, we just, we continue to evolve with our community. You walk in, uh, you know, it looks and it is a professional studio, but what makes this different is it's a professional educational studio. Every single part of this room we use as an education opportunity. So we've got everything from like teaching, mixing and mastering to basic stuff with like beat making and digital music to, you know, like producing and writing songs. Turn that up to just leave it at 12 because we gotta actually turn it up a little more. So it's giving artists an opportunity to come in um, and work in a space in a learning environment where everyone is learning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And then, oh, I think it provides me an opportunity to give back. Like, I, you know, we come in here and work with the kids. That's like, you know, a super plus for me. So that's like, if I can, you know, come in here and like yeah, teach these kids what I'm doing at the same time as well as like get some fire music recorded at the same time. And, you know, get stuff done and that's dope. It's a way left for everybody, I feel like. Yeah. I love working with the uh, local artists and engineers and stuff. I've uh, met a lot of new people. They're actually some of my friends now. Um, they came in here and they come to a class and they really enjoy it and then they come to the next class and the next class and they've been coming for months. With the musicians, you know, volunteering to work with the students, they're going to get some type of professional product while the students are simultaneously going to be learning and getting a very professional, very real world experience. Yeah, for sure, it's dope to see a 10, 12 year old kid uh, looking at the same thing you're looking at 10, 12 years ago, and it's cool to be able to help them out. Seeing these kids who don't have access to this stuff, seeing them come in here, learn something, apply it, and then like that look on their face when they, they're successful and do something, it's just like, you know, it melts your heart. You just, it's so, so like inspiring. Music is huge for kids, um, and it's a great outlet um, towards you know, a, a good path. Um, so giving kids an opportunity to be in a space where they feel empowered is huge, and to teach them that you know, this is something that they can do and we're providing that access for them. Chattanooga wants to give people access. They want people to engage in new ideas. And, um, and I think that spirit in Chattanooga is alive and well. Even the process of rethinking what a public library can be for a community is, is an incredible testament to innovation in our city. 
and Chattanooga is cool. People want to make things here. That's why we have a, you know, we don't have like a big art scene yet or a huge music scene yet, but it's growing. We're providing free access to any person in Chattanooga. Our vision is to see, you know, local artists come in, use the space, and then we can kind of help grow that music community. So the more people we give access to, the more ideas can come forward, uh, the more new and incredible things are going to happen within our city. And so I think the Chattanooga Public Library and the studio is playing a huge role in that. If you're a fan of Greater Chattanooga, support it. Becoming a sustaining member of WTCI is easy and affordable, and it makes a big difference. Visit greaterchattanooga.org slash donate. Thanks.